This year's primary election was anything but short of surprises and close calls, and turnout better than last time around. Of the 741,007 registered voters, more than 286,000 people cast ballots. That's a voter turnout of 38.6 percent, about 4 percent more than two years ago. Polling sites were relatively quiet yesterday, with more people opting to mail in ballots. As for the headlining battles, they were among the Democrats and featured longtime politicians. But now that the battle's over, today they came together. Sarah Madison starts our coverage tonight with the Democrats' traditional unity breakfast. After months of battling on the campaign trail, Hawaii Democrats gather today to break bread and move forward. This year's governor's race was heated, with incumbent Governor David Ige proving his worth again. Collectively, everything that we've done, uh, we were uh, focused on getting uh, the message out and our, our record um, for uh, people to be able to compare and examine. As for his challenger, Congresswoman Colleen Hanabusa, she tells us it's time to step aside. Well, you know, I've said that I don't believe that I'll run for office again uh, because I feel that, you know, I've had an amazing political journey. And what I want to see is the next generation. You know, the, the next generation has to come forward or more than that, feel like there's a place for them. Another race that took the spotlight was for the lieutenant governor's seat, which was one of the closest races of the night. Dr. Josh Green was only up by about 6,700 votes on the final printout. It was totally humbling to go up against great opponents. Uh, Jill was a super fighter to the end. Uh, the others are terrific people. Dr. Green tells us his expertise in health care has already proven helpful in working with Governor Ige. The governor has always trusted me to work on those issues, and those are not your typical political issues. So. It's a wonderful space, I believe, to have Lieutenant Governor. Uh, I do know, and I've worked with him in the past, in the challenges of uh, the hospital system, about a physician shortage. I know he cares about, especially in rural communities, how we can work to get more physicians to uh, serve our people better. So I, I know that there are a lot of different areas that uh, we have alignment in the priorities, and that his uh, specific expertise would add a lot of value to moving forward. Meanwhile, runner-up Jill Tokuda and third-place vote-getter Kauai Mayor Bernard Carvalho says there's still a lot of fight in them. I'm ready to go back home and continue being the mayor. I'm still mayor till November 1st, so look forward to continuing that. I'm um, not really sure what tomorrow brings, but public service is definitely in my future, um, and they need somebody to be their champion, um, whether it was affordability issues, you know, whether it was neighbor island issues, whatnot. Those issues still need to be at the table right now. They still need that champion, so I don't think we can ever forget that. And that's really what today's Unity Breakfast is about, is unifying all those voices. Sarah Madison, KHON 2 News.